Hello everyone. Today I've come to Sancha and I've started at a place on a mountain in Sancha which has a tea plantation and I must say to get here you have to drive up one of the worst roads I've ever used in Taiwan. There's massive potholes in the road, it's tiny, there's cars coming up and down past you and there's uh, leaves and mud all over, it's really slippy for the scooter and it's windy all the way up. So if you do come here yourself, I'd suggest driving in a car or coming in a taxi, don't come on a scooter. So this is the name of the tea plantation, what I've come to. I'm gonna get inside now. So there's the information. It's 100 NT to get inside. So I've come to an organic tea farm in Sancha and this tea farm according to the gate is 700 meters above sea level with a great views. So that's the view you can see. And walking around around this tea farm is really scenic as you can see from all the views of the mountains. Here is some of the tea leaves growing on the side of the mountain. This organic tea farm covers a big area of land. So when you pay the hundred to get in, there's quite a bit of walking. But because you're so high up, it's actually a bit cooler, a little bit. It's still hot because it's 25 degrees up here. That's what it said on the door. This area has all different kinds of tea leaves growing. They had little signs in some places which told you if it was oolong tea or green tea or whichever type of tea that was growing there. But with the rain cloud coming, I didn't have so much time to look for all the little signs to find out which tea is which. And also, when you're walking around there, it really gives off a big smell of tea. You can really smell it. It's in your face. It's interesting seeing all the tea growing. When you see it in your cup, in the tea bag, I know everyone knows it grows on a leaf. But to actually see it in the mountain is pretty cool. It's really peaceful here, but there's a big dirty rain cloud coming above us. And I'm not too keen about going back down the mountain on that road in the pissing rain. They're obviously growing all different types of tea here. This section had a lot of birds and insect sounds and it was really nice to hear them it reminds you how good it is just being in nature it's a wonderful sound and a wonderful feeling and i highly recommend it that bird or insect is making a mad noise like a squeaking echo that one that is insane that So like when I went to Dashi Tea Factory, you can spend a hundred in the shop. I'm just getting this because I'm in a hurry because if I get caught in the rain on the mountain, it's gonna be a huge disaster. So I need to get back. So they give you this voucher and say you can spend a hundred NT and the green tea in the fridge is 100 NT. Apparently you're not allowed to use it on the tea. You've got to spend it on something more expensive. I've stopped at this interesting looking coffee shop. I was on my way back down the mountain and I drove, drove past this place which was really busy. So I decided to check it out. This coffee shop is called Goo Hill and it is 
built into an old style traditional house so we'll go inside and I'll show you what it looks like I'm sitting here in the window on the bar seat. So I came when I came back down the mountain, it gave us a bit of uh, PSTD, post-traumatic stress disorder, because the mountain felt a little bit, the road felt a little bit like the road that I was on when I fell off the mountain. So I had to take my time coming down. So now I'm sitting here in this Groove Hill cafe, calming down. So. I just ordered a, a, a waffle, a tiny big, so let's see what this looks like when it gets here. So I got a brown sugar laddie, cold one, and this has to be one of the fanciest laddies I've ever had in my life. I ordered this waffle, it seems to be their speciality, and I saw everyone here was ordering it, so I ordered it. It was 250 NT for the waffle and 180 for the coffee. I'm gonna eat this now and get into it. I just saw that this Goo Hill Cafe is only open Friday, Saturday, Sunday. It's not open during the week. I just got close to Sancha Old Street now and I'm heading to the famous Sancha Ching Shui Sushi Temple. I had to read that as I say it otherwise I would say it wrong. We just skip, skip across this bridge now and when we go through here we should cross a little bridge and you go over a little bridge and you're at the Old Street. So Sancha means three gorges and back in the day years and years ago it used to be famous as a place where they could bring goods in from the bring goods on the river and it also was famous for cloth dyeing but now it is a little, like a little town outside of Taipei that people like to come to. And it basically said online that people who used to live in Sancha years ago were uh, all wealthy. So Sancha Old Street also has the Baroque architecture, the same as uh, Dashi when I went there. So this Ching Shui Tzu Shi Temple, this is famous for the carvings. And this is one of the most famous temples in Taiwan. Look at the door. Look at the carving in the door, man. The detail on that. Mm. 
this is Sancha Old Street and you can see it's got the same kind of Baroque architecture as there was in Dashi as got the same kind of architecture as my video from Dashi they're both designed in a similar way with Baroque architecture it looks quite nice with all the lanterns lit up and that there's the the architecture on the buildings I really like it this is a place where people like to come on the weekends I think I spent too long on the mountain a lot of some shops have closed up already uh, but that mountain road I really had to take my time on it it was so dangerous I was going to take a video of the mountain road and show you but I had no safe way of doing it I've missed a lot of the food on the old street but it's still I still think it's quite nice walking up and down at this time there's less people you can walk peacefully it's nowhere near as busy as it usually is because shops are closing at 6 30 now I guess some shops close at 6 and some shops close at 7 these these smaller towns outside the big cities they do close a bit earlier all right I'm gonna end the video there this has been Sanchez so I'll just see you next time and I hope you enjoyed this video goodbye <laughs>